When a trader buys a put option, they are hoping that the underlying price falls, and specifically that it falls below their strike price. The strike price though is not the price at which the trader will break even at expiration. This is because the option was not free, a premium was paid. This premium must be taken into account to calculate where the option will break even if held to expiry. In example 3 in the previous lecture, you may remember we bought an SLV put option with a strike price of $21, and then it expired with the price of SLV at $20, which is below our strike price. This means the option had an intrinsic value of $1. However, because we paid a $1.54 premium for the option, we lost $0.54 cents per share on the trade overall. It is useful when buying put options, particularly if you're planning to hold them to expiry, to know what price the underlying needs to reach for your trade to break even. Thankfully, this is a very simple calculation. In that example where the strike price of the put option was $21 and the premium paid was $1.54, the break-even point is simply $21 minus $1.54 which equals $19.46. This means that if the price of SLV is exactly $19.46 when the put option expires, the trade will have made precisely $0. No profit, but no loss either. More generally, the break-even point of a put option can be calculated as strike price minus the premium paid. It's important to remember that it's the premium paid per share that you need to use when making this calculation. You'll remember that the contract multiplier for SLV was 100, so when we purchased the put option, the total premium paid was actually $154. It is the per share price of $1.54 though that we use when making the break-even calculations. As the calculation is simple when only considering one put option at a time, it's possible to do this calculation on the fly while looking over the option chain. This $20 put option here, for example, currently has an ask of $1.12. If we were to purchase this put option for $1.12 and hold it until expiration, our break-even point would be the strike price of $20 minus the premium paid of $1.12, which equals $18.88. Similarly, this $17 put option here currently has an ask price of $0.35. Cents. If we were to purchase this put option for $0.35 cents now and hold it until expiration, our break-even point would be $17 minus $0.35, cents, which equals $16.65. We will be moving on to the differences between buying and selling a put option later in the section. It's worth mentioning briefly now though that the break-even point for the seller of a put option is exactly the same as the break-even for the buyer of the put option. In summary, the break-even point of a put option can be calculated as the strike price minus the premium paid for the option. And remember to use the per share value for the premium paid, not the total premium.